Hi guys, uh, I've been asked to do a uh, summary of my season for uh, Junior Athletics. Um, I'm sure there'll be a link in the description. But I think my season overall went really well. Um, a lot of surprises in there. Um, well, my 800 metre time was pretty... I was ha I'm happy to end the season on 149.6. But uh, probably may I don't think I fulfilled what I could have done because I just feel I was doing too much of a warm up for a lot of my races where I would go to the start line and feel very tired. Um, and also I recently discovered that I had uh, hypoglycemia as well, which basically is when your body has low blood sugar levels so obviously competing with low blood sugar levels you're not going to fulfill what you can do um, and I sorted that out towards the end of the season and that got me down from 151 to 149 pretty easily um, and I ran 149 in my last race of the season which was um, the worst conditions race I've ever ran in pretty much um, it was really windy, I'm sure a lot of you have ran at Bedford and it's not the best place to run especially when it's a windy day literally on the back straight I felt like I was fighting something uh, I think my season was good I think like next season where I'll see really start to like reap the benefits of the training and stuff because I was getting used to the new training because I went from training twice a week to more or less every day um, which is which is good but obviously it's going to take a lot of time to adjust to that but I feel like I, I'm ready to step up and have a much better season for 2013 uh, a surprise was my 1500 time this season because last season I could barely run under 4 minutes and this season I ran I think it was two 1500 meters, and I managed to run um, 348 and the 347, which is like it's not amazing, but it's, it's good for someone who runs 800 meters um, and does 800 meter training rather than 1500 training because I don't do that much mileage. Uh, probably do a lot less mileage than a lot of the people in my age group, just simply because I prefer to do quality rather than quantity. Um, I've been asked to say what went badly in the season from Robert, uh, the manager of Junior Athletics. But I'm not really sure what really went badly. I suppose the indoor season was horrific. I was running 157, I think. Um, I think that was just because I just didn't really know what I was doing at that point. Because I was so used to just doing uh, two runs a week. Um, but my coach told me that just be patient, just be patient, don't worry. And and um, I was a bit worried <laughs> still, but um, as soon as the outdoor season came, I knew that I needed, I knew what I needed to work on, and that all worked out perfect. But I think next season's where I'll start seeing everything coming together. Obviously, I'm a lot skinnier than a lot of the people in my age group, so I'm hoping to fill out a bit. Um, what else? What about us? Um, can't really think what went wrong other than the indoor season. <laughs> uh, a lot of maybe a few of the outdoor races. Um, yeah, a few of the outdoor races. I think the nationals was okay when I came four for year young, but I think I could have done a lot better. Um, but I mean it's all about the future it doesn't really matter what you're doing at this age anyway I mean 149 is okay um, for my age it's not amazing but it's alright and 347 is decent as well so I'm just like where I really want to be I don't want to be too far ahead where I can't really make any improvements but I've got a lot of good people behind me so next year should be good um, my best race of the season was probably um, it's hard to tell really because I think probably my last race of the season which was at the BMC Grand Prix 
in Bedford, even though the weather was horrific. Uh, that was when I ran 149.69, I think. And, um, again, it's not amazing, but uh, I came second behind someone who's run 145 or 146, I think, so, and it was in terrible conditions once again, so, um, I'm pleased with that, I'm really pleased with that. I just think, next season I know what I have to work on, and I know my targets for next season, I just need to make sure I stay focused, and keep doing what I'm doing and I've got a great coach and I know he's like uh, got, knows exactly what he's doing it's not like I have any doubts or anything um, parents give me lifts everywhere to training etc and uh, yeah that's pretty good I've just had a month off training um, and I got to spend time with like a good friend of mine Richard because I don't really get to see him because I'm always training and I'm always tired so it was good to see someone and get away from athletics for a few weeks um, but this is my last weekend of resting and then I'm going to get into um, into the winter training and get some mileage in and hopefully the indoor season will be good I'm not sure what I'm doing yet I don't think I'm doing cross country I think I'm going to concentrate on um, on the indoor track season uh, whether it be 400, 800 or 15 or maybe 3k, I'm not too sure yet but um, I'm sure you'll soon find out but uh, that's it really so thanks, bye <laughs>